Welcome to the KMT Line Model Railroad. It is October 14th, 2021, and this is update number 23. I haven't been doing very much on the layout, but I took some time to build this little box cab. So what I'd like to do is take it to the workbench and show you what I did. All right, so I've moved the uh, box cab into the uh, onto the workbench just to show you a few things that uh, I think are kind of important. First, let's talk about what's inside the uh, the chassis, the uh, box cab. I started off with a Kato 11-104 motor chassis. Now, I understand that the 104s may not be available or they may be hard to find, but uh, I've had this one for a couple of years, so I decided it was time to use it. Also inside here is a uh, Digitrax DH-126D decoder. It's a two-function decoder. Along with a Digitrax, what they call power extender, or keep alive. And it is the uh, PX-108-2. Now, I think I'll insert a picture here showing those two products. Picture. Okay, so one of the other things that's kind of important is this piece right here. This is actually a product that I got from Shapeways. And it is a, uh, I think it's just a chassis or a frame for the 11-104. Uh, and I'll show a picture of that right now. All right, so the box is made from styrene. Most everything else out here is styrene, except for the uh, framework for the door. That's uh, wood, little wood strips. Everything else is uh, styrene. Uh, the roof, the skirt, all that. Um, I really like working with styrene. It's uh, fun to work with. A little bit different than working with wood all the time. Um, after I built the box and put it all together, I gave it a, a nice uh, spray paint job with... Uh, some Tamiya flat black and flat white mixture. I mixed up this gray color that I like. I mixed up a slightly darker gray color for the t for the top, for the roof. And then uh, I let that dry for 24 hours. And then I came back with my normal uh, washes and stuff to simulate rust and dirt and grime. And again, those are the uh, raw umber, the burnt sienna, and I also used a little bit of burnt umber this time, just to give it a little variation. But uh, that's it. After I uh, gave it a wash, put all the little parts on, added the uh, label, the KMT lot sign, and the number four. I gave it a spray with a dull coat, and uh, then added the couplers and the wiring and stuff, the uh, handrails. Gave another little spray, and then uh, called it done. Really simple, just a box with some windows, and uh, off she goes. Okay, back here on Waterman Junction. Well, that's it. That's really all I have for an update. I haven't done, as you can see, I haven't done much on the layout itself. Uh, spent most of my time playing around with uh, working on uh, this box cab. And I have been running it and the other box cab back and forth, running it around the layout, and uh, having fun doing that. But uh, So that's been it. Again, this was, uh, was this, update number 23. Uh, thank you very much for those who have been watching. Those that you have still watching right now, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And uh, please, don't forget to leave a comment. I love seeing your comments. I really like seeing what you have to say. And if you have anything to add, anything you'd like to see, uh, any comments about what I've done and how I can do it better, I'd really like to hear that. So, uh, again, thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you on the next update. Bye.